Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to give you 10 important tips. In this video, I am going to give 10 important tips which you can improve your software testing skills. Have a great career in software testing world. Before moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let us move on and understand what are those 10 important tips that would help you to improve your software testing skills. The first very important skill is you should learn the application. You should learn the application, whichever the application which you are going to test that application or in a product in a very detailed manner. So how can you learn that application or a product? Can you learn on your own? That is not possible. You should always, you should learn in collaboration with the development, in collaboration with the business analyst, product owners, product management or architect. So in that way, if you learn the product or an application, they will have a, you will have a good understanding of the application. Because you will be touching all the aspects of the application by collaborating with the various stakeholders and you will be learning in detail of the application. If you learn in this way, you will be get more beneficial in learning the skills being a tester. This is the one of the best way to learn the product or an application as a tester or an as end user by working closely with the various stakeholders in the project. So let us move on to understand the second tip which I plan to give here is learn the business perspective. You always as a software tester, you should always think as a hand user perspective because when you think as an end user perspective, then only you can write the right test cases, right uh, things you can do it as part of as your testing job. Hence, you always think as an end user perspective in your day to day life and then you bring those adoption into your testing. Then definitely your quality of the testing will improve. So this is the second important tips. Then let us move on to the understanding. The third important tip here is learn writing the detailed defects. You should learn how to write the detailed defect report because this is very crucial. In order to write the detailed defects, that means you should have a good writing skills. If you do not have a good writing skills, then please learn the writing skills because this is how you can make a difference to the development team by providing a value addition by writing the detailed uh, defect report that, that, that will have step to reproduce, that will have all the build details, that will have browser details, you name any information which is required for defects will be there in that report. That means that report will be read by many stakeholders in the project. If you are not writing the good defect report, that means people doesn't value you. People may not like you if you are not writing the good detailed report, a good detailed defect report or a bug report. Hence, I recommend you to learn this skill. You learn this skill by learning how to write in detail in a more simple and effective manner that anybody reads that report can easily understand that report. So this is the third important skills which you, you should improve in order to improve yourself as a good software tester. Then the fourth is always try to attend trainings or external seminars 
that would give you an idea how the outside industry or outside of your company is really doing in terms of software testing and what are the latest technologies available in the world you will be getting you will get to know all the aspects of that hence i recommend you take up various trainings on the latest happenings in the software testing world or in general in the software world and also attend regularly the seminars which are more interesting things for you and also you will be learning what is really happening outside the outside your company the fifth one is join online forums there are various online forums available in software testing world because if you regularly visit those online forums then you will get to know what is the topic which is really burning to the testers or what is really the topic which is very interesting in the software testing world or what is the topic which is really trending in the testing world right in this way you will get to know what are the hot topics in the testing area then you will be learning more things about that when you learning more things about those latest technologies or trending topics in the software testing world then definitely your knowledge will improve your skills will improve in the software testing world hence i do recommend join to the online forums maybe couple of forums maybe three four forums which are very good you can just uh, search in the google testing forums you will get many forums identify three four very important which are comfortable to learn uh, which are comfortable in those forums and start going through the forums essentially then later you can also contribute to those forums based on your learnings or based on your knowledge you can also start contributing in those forums that would help you to improve your communication skills that would improve your writing skills or you will ex get exposed your session as same in the software testing world this is the fifth important tip which i would like to give it to you the sixth is being a software tester you should also good in one or two programming skills if you are good in one or two programming skills that would help you to provide root cause analysis for the defect because by knowing the program you can do a debugging or you can you can help the developer to help them where the issue is really coming from right hence i recommend always being a tester learn one or two programming skills you may not learn you may not require to un learn hundreds of programming skills at least you should, should learn all the basic programming skills and you should be able to understand the code which they have written at least you should have that kind of skills which you require to become a good software tester and i do recommend you have at least one or two programming skills in your profile the seventh important tip which i am trying to provide here is never assume never assume any time because being a tester this is the core skill you should have it this is a very important skill where being a tester never assume even if you have a slight doubt in your mind then please ask the questions please ask the question to the relevant stakeholder and get the things get clarified this is never assume any time please ask the question to the relevant stakeholder so that you will get more information more clarity then your quality of the test cases would be very great if you do this method the eighth important tip here is you should always keep your mind open when you keep your mind open then you will get lot of information you can gather lot of information you can think multiple ways when you are gathering the requirements if you are not keeping your mind open if you make your mind block then you may not be able to think out of the box and you are not able to bring a value addition in terms of your test case development or your test case executions or in your defect report then hence you should always keep your mind open open to the ideas open to the information in that way 
you can definitely bring more value addition in the software testing field. So this is the eighth important tip which I am planning to give it to you that would help you to improve your software testing skills. The ninth is build the networking skills. Being a software tester, you are not a isolated person. You are not a solo person. You should work with the various stakeholders in the project. That means you should build your network. You should build your network with the developers. You should build your network with BAs. You should build your network with architects. You should build your network with product management, your product manager, or it could be even with your own testers. That means when you are building the network, then you can learn a very much in your career and you can learn and you can get expertise by watching them, by seeing them, how they are working, how they are uh, doing their job in the IT industry. This is very crucial. This is very crucial in an IT industry and as well for the software testing world. The last thing here is I have the skill of practice 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 if you want to learn anything start practicing after learning start practicing start practicing start practicing without practice whatever the learning learnings you have made that is not going to help any way hence i recommend all the time do a practice after whatever you have learned in your career so these are the 10 important tips which I would like to provide to you. I would really help you to groom yourself as a better software tester. I hope uh, you really enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click on like button. And if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and click on bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.